Hello again, it's Lori Gracie, TCEA Executive Director, and I'm here to talk with you today about a free tool you can use to make the Deadly Dull Worksheet more interactive and more engaging for students. This is a particularly great tool to use right now uh, when kids are working from home, um, especially if they have a device that they have access to. Uh, it's easy to use for teachers, and again, it's free, which is a wonderful thing. The tool, is called Wiser, and it's found at wiser.me, okay? And when you go there, you have all of these different choices, okay? Uh, again, you have to, the teacher has to create a free account uh, in order to use it, but uh, the students do not. In fact, you could just send your students to wiser.me once you've completed or co created a worksheet for them. They would enter in a class code you would give them and they're ready to go. Wiser works on any device as long as it has internet access. So whether you're a Chromebook or an iPad or a laptop, whatever it is, Wiser will work there, okay? So um, let's go ahead and look at all of the different things that Wiser can do. First off, they have a ton that teachers have already created so that you can just copy and use or copy and edit, okay? Um, and that works really, really powerfully. So right here, they have where you could go in and start creating a worksheet or I'm gonna search for something. Let's say that I wanna teach a lesson on the digestive system, okay? So then it's gonna come up with lots of different recommendations and some things to notice about each of these. You can see uh, if they've got some speech bubbles here, that's where people have made comments that they find it extremely useful. They really like it. And you can see on the digestive system, there are quite a few here and they keep going, okay? Now, if I go in and specifically look at one of them, I'm just gonna randomly pick this one right here, the digestive system review. When it comes up, it's gonna tell me this was designed for ninth grade students. There have been 1,100 students impacted. In other words, 1,100 students' teachers have chosen to copy and use this particular worksheet. Okay? And then this is what the students will do. There's a place for them to put their name, okay? And then there's places where they're going to do entering text from here. Also places where they're going to answer some uh, multiple choice questions. And then you can see the reviews, okay? And you can see what they're saying about this one. If I wanted to use this worksheet, I would just say copy worksheet and it would copy it to my account, to my worksheets where they're stored. And then I can go in and make whatever uh, edits and things that I want to. Let's go back and look at another digestive system worksheet just for fun. Um, let's just look at this one here just to see something different, okay? Again, this one's for fifth grade. You can see it starts off with a video question. So there's a video embedded that the students would need to watch first. And then there is a matching. So the students are going to do a matching activity. If I wanted to see what this actually looks like to the students, I have that option once I copy it to my account to preview the worksheet. So I can actually see and practice doing what they're going to be doing. Okay? Um, I've already logged into my account. So let's go ahead and look at some of the worksheets that I have copied and what do those look like? So over here on the right-hand side, I can go to my worksheets. So let's take a look at this main idea one, okay? Notice that choice of previewing was there. Okay. Um, this says I had some changes. I'm just gonna discard them now because obviously I was kind of just playing around, okay? Um, it wants me to specify a grade level, which I have not done. So you can put that description and the tags up here. I can also change the different colors, the background, all of that sort of thing. Okay, and this one is a pretty cool one because what it's asking students to do is to pick sentences and determine where they go. Are they a supporting detail? Are they a main idea? Or does that not belong in the paragraph at all? So you can see it's much more interactive, much more for them to have to do. Now, let's talk about all the different types of questions you, that WISER provides, okay? So you can see there are a ton of different question choices, open, multiple choice, fill in the blank, fill in an image so they can have them labeled, uh, matching, using a table, sorting, very powerful, drawing, so for that non-linguistic representation, uh, putting in text answers, uh, putting up an image, adding their own video or showing a video, having a link, embedding, uh, having a class discussion. 
Now these two, reflection and word search puzzle, you'll notice are locked. That is because they go with the premium plan. We'll talk a little bit more about that a little bit later. So all of those are choices you can put in, okay? Again, you can do all sorts of creativity things here in terms of making it look better. Let's go back and look at uh, one more of mine that I pulled up just again so you can see some choices. Let's do uh, major battles of the Civil War. These are ones that quite frankly, I just copied from somewhere else. You can see the steps they're gonna take me through. I'm gonna edit it. I'm gonna then review it, make sure it looks good. I'm gonna assign it to my learners. You can assign it uh, by giving them the URL so that they simply go to wiser.me and enter in that code. Or you can assign it through Google Classroom, which makes it much easier, as well as other LMS systems. And then make sure I provide the answers. Why would you need to provide the answers? Well, because Wiser allows you to automatically grade all of these worksheets. Let me say that again. Wiser will grade the worksheets for you based on the answers you give in. Think about the time savings that's gonna be, okay? And that's included as in the free program. So here we have an audio question, so it's gonna read this paragraph, okay? Notice I have a choice of setting point values, so if I want some of my questions to be worth more points than others, I can certainly do that. Places for students to mark the answers and notice the correct answers are marked right now, okay? Another audio question, okay? Now we're gonna read a map, <laughs> okay? Um, another audio question, then we're gonna do some uh, matching, okay? So you can see you can put lots of different types of questions into the same thing. Very easy to do. Okay, let me go back again to my account. Um, this is where you can create your learners, okay, if you set your classes up. Um, I don't have any classes because, you know, I'm not a real teacher, but that's where you would do it, okay. Um, let's go in and look what you can do when you create a worksheet. Let's see how difficult that is. So I'm just going to click on create a worksheet. Notice the first thing they're going to say is, you know, what, what do you want this to look like? And, and they have some decent backgrounds and things, okay? I'm just going to pick the, the paper clip randomly, something kind of light. Notice I could do lots of other changes. I could change the fonts. Then it says, okay, let's add a task. What do you want to do first, okay? Well, I'll just do kind of the standard uh, multiple choice just so you can see how that looks. I would put my question in, notice all of the different things I can do to my question. I can bold it, underline, I can change the text, I can add emojis so you get your kids interested. I can also give an alternate question, okay? And that's for when you're going to use this for differentiation. The program has an automatic differentiation process for you that does again come with the premium. Again, we'll talk about that in a few minutes. I can record voice instructions or a video of me telling the kids what I want them to do. I can also record just the question. I put in the correct answers and say whether this is a question that can be differentiated or not, okay? And then I would continue. What if I put in, um, let's say a matching? What does that look like? Well, again, same type of things. I have an alternate question I can do, recording, and then I would have all my items on the left. So if I put um, um, Santa Claus here, I would put the matching item over here delivers presents on Christmas Eve. And it's gonna randomize those, so even though you're putting them in in order, it's gonna take care of that. When I'm done with all of this, then it's gonna let me review, okay? Save it, and then assign it to my learners, make sure I have all my answers in correctly. And your worksheet is created just that quickly. It's, it's absolutely astonishing, okay? Now, what we wanna talk about maybe for just a few minutes is the pricing. So let me go back to Wiser. And they are running a special right now, okay, because of the COVID and everything, uh, where if you wanna have premium access, which will include some additional features, it's just $3 a month. That is pretty reasonable, I think. Obviously, they have less expensive pricing for school districts or campuses that purchase this for everyone. Um, you get it free, it says for 30 days, that's the upgrade, but you get it free with the basic features, all of those different question types forever, okay? The free for 30 days is the upgrade. So what do you get if you upgrade? Well, if you're a user of Google Classroom, it will allow you to add, automatically import your entire student roster, quickly assign your worksheets to students, and also export grades for you, okay? 
It has some other features that are very, very powerful. One is that it has a question area about the learner attributes. What are your kids' strengths? What are they interested in? What are their challenges? What are their preferences? So they, you can go in and have them complete this, and then that's gonna help you to uh, differentiate the different assignments. It also allows you to provide ongoing reflection questions. Remember you saw that as a locked question for each assignment or in between assignments for them to think about their learning. The upgrade will also allow you to automatically group the students based on very easy rules that you set. So you can base them on their learner preferences. Um, you can base it on past performance. Uh, there are a lot of different ways you can do that. And that again, once you set it up, it's done automatically. It also will let you uh, increase student engagement because you can create different alternates for your questions, okay, so that they are allowed to choose which ones they want to answer, giving them some more control. Okay. So this is an upgrade that you can do, again, $3 a month right now, $36 a year. If you don't know if you'll like it or not, try it. You get to try it for free for 30 days and see what you think. I think wiser dot me is a really really powerful tool worksheets are not the best teaching tool all the time but sometimes they are extremely appropriate when students are focusing on new content and when they're focusing on reviewing content so this is a way simply to up the game with worksheets and i think you would really enjoy this i'm going to recommend again wiser dot me for you to try I'll also mention right now that TCEA through May 8th is providing free membership to everyone, or if you're already a member, you can renew for a year for free. All of our special interest groups are also free to join right now through May 8th. And those are groups that are targeted towards specific interests, such as virtual learning or robotics, or to specific job types like library media specialist, or CTO tech directors. And you can find all of that on our website, tcea.org slash remote learning. I hope you enjoyed this and that you start using WISER with your students and see how much you can do.